Hello people that in the house doing my hats a bit crooked. Um, today we're talking about how history is important. The history in your local communities is more or less on top of here. History in your counties, if you want to expand it that big. That big. So, you know history is important because history, we, we're not, everything we do is a part of history. Uh, I'm speaking here now, maybe in 30 years time, they'll be like, oh, that cut was a cut. <laughs> And you know, it'll be all over the newspapers and they'll be like, that cut really was a cut. <laughs> you know, I'm only joking. They won't be like that. They'll be very nice. Um, you know, but the we are all living history. And we have to remember what our grandparents and our parents were like. And, you know, it's great history. Looking back and hearing their stories of what happened back then, uh, back when they were growing up and, you know, and comparing it to where we grew up, it's, you know, it's really interesting. And I think anybody, even people who hate history, I always love doing that because it's a big difference. Like, for example, my parents walked miles and miles to to primary school. And they walked, they used to have, used to have the tile, it used to be so hot. Um, It was a lot hotter years ago than it is now in Ireland. And the tile used to be on their feet, boiling on their feet. And, oh, the, you know, the, you know, the, you know, you wouldn't go through it now. And, like one of my parents left school at 14 to go and walk in the sawmill. So, you know, like you wouldn't hear of that now. And to be honest, there's not really much sawmills around nowadays. Um, You know, that's really big difference. That's the history. Like that sawmill closed down. And, you know, it's in the history. It's in the history books of Calvin. That it was, there was a sawmill here. It done this amount. It was open for this long. It had so many walkers. This person owned it, you know. And that's history. That's history. And, you know, there is loads of history. Every, even history in the local community, people you're not even related to. Um, like, like, there's loads of history. This country is full of history. This country is the most historical country on the on planet there. Let's put it that way. Because there's so much history in Ireland. You have, before the famine, way, way before the famine, the Celts and the, you know, way back then, when Ireland was only forest and... The Roman, they say the Romans never came to Ireland, but, you know, you, that's your own debate. Like, the Romans could have come to Ireland. Uh, the Vikings, you know, all, like, Ireland's full of history. Full, full of history. And it's really interesting. History is really, really interesting. It should take pride in your history. Especially, um, the 19th century, from the Great War up to, up to the 1960s, I suppose. It should be a place that every Irish person should really know about. Because um, 1916, obviously the Great War had to happen for the 1916 rising. Because, you know, because Britain had their backs turned and they were looking the other way. And, you know, that's, that says a lot itself. Like, you have to look at the, you learn about World War One. Franz Ferdinand died in Austria, Hungary, who was assassinated by a Serbian uh, nationalists, I suppose you could say, but not working for the government in Serbia, if that makes sense. This is like a history video. You know? <laughs> uh, I know a good bit about World War One and the rest of that. And you learn a bit about the, the you know, I'm kind of speaking here, but it's always good to learn about where you came from. Like, you can see the people, like, from my experience, Calvin, loads of people were drafted, and were not drafted, but voluntarily served for the British Army because everybody was starving. Starving. My my family never suffered it. Um, never never dreamed that Dwada died and suffered it. That's the way the thing. Um, and probably one of them did, but um, you know, because the one, like, I was, like, it was either that or you'd die. That's the way it's that, because that's how bad Ireland was back then. Because there was no such thing as care packages from the British government, especially in wartime. You wouldn't bloody get nearly anything from the government. Um, you know, like, there's so much history, even in local communities. Like, in my local community, just take this for example, I looked at people, probably have other examples, like, um, in the, in my local community, there's a old restaurant that was there for a long, long time, but it used to be attached cottage, and back three years ago, uh, the roof went on fire, and, you know, that's a part of history, that's going to be in the history book for a long, long time, because this was an old building that went on fire, and it was rebuilt, and, you know, that's going to be in, I keep saying, you know, <laughs> um, like, you know, you like, you know, you know, like in, like a Dubliner. <laughs> no offense, any Dubliner. But, um, you know, that's going to be the history book. And I'll be able to say, like, you know, bloody Jesus Christ. Um, like, I'm going to be able to say that I was 
there when the building went in fire and, you know, we've seen the building burn down. You know, that's history, witnessing history there. And every day we witness history, we just don't know it. And that's the good thing about history, because there's so much history that it's un it's unbelievable how much history you could learn in the day. Um like it is history is really, really important thing to learn because as I said with the nineteen sixteen rising, we have to think about where we are at the moment. If we live in the Irish Republic, we would be probably under still under British rule if it wasn't for them men. Um who where well, we probably wouldn't now we probably would have been um liberated I suppose in nineteen forty. I say we would have been kicked around with the British for a while and then let off. Um but only for these brave men of nineteen sixteen and the people in the War of Independence and uh, unfortunately the Civil War then like that's history, that's really that's really heartbreaking history, that's really emotional history. That really gets everybody nowadays people really don't care about people died way before us, way, way, way before us, to for us to be here. And that's what I always say in history. Their men in 1916 went out and died for us. They died for us to be free, to have freedom, to have an independent state, under, with, with, not on the allegiance of any king or any queen. Um, and that's important. That's really what, that's shaped our society. Like, we don't have to swear an allegiance to the queen of England, you know, that's, that you know, I'm going to start, <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you for watching, I know I'll probably ramble on a good bit, uh, so yeah, thank you, what was I saying, thank you for, <laughs> I really am too tired, this, I'm probably getting all heated up, anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe, and bye.